it or not, or feels like it or not, whether he feels good or he maybe has a little bit of sniffles, okay, whether, uh, you know, the kid's getting an a F in math or A plus in math, doesn't matter. He's going out then and he's getting minimum 10 to 15 names and numbers a day. A day. Okay? A day. Ben has a population of 80,000. If you got 10 to 15 a day, it will still take you 100 years to talk to everybody. Okay? We, can't, we, we cannot fool ourselves to think there's nobody to go talk to when there is. When you guys said, you guys, been, how long have you been in Bend? 33 years. 33 years. He said 1,000. Joey says, well, maybe not 1,000. Okay, let's kind of have to say 500 CPAs and enrolled agents and taxpayers you can go talk to, let alone the truck drivers and the plumbers and everybody else who can't stand their jobs anymore. 10 to 15 names and numbers every day. He has to do it. Okay? He's getting a lot of no's. He's getting a lot of people who don't show up. He's getting a lot of people who come in, show up, and then disappear. He's getting a lot of those, but he's also getting some people who come in and they're sticking. He's also getting people who come in and they're actually getting, we're getting lists and we're getting referrals from. I sat down yesterday, last night, it was a 7.30 appointment. <sighs> These crazy engineer guys. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't trust them. 7.30 appointment, and, and nice, nice guy. Used to see his wife rolling her eyes, oh my God, you know, type thing, right? Three hours later, after every single question you could possibly think of, he wants to become a client, okay? And they're looking probably doing at least a thousand dollars a month. And David probably went through a hundred no's to get a thousand dollars without you well. When it's all said and done, he'll make about four thousand bucks, okay? After splitting it, all right? So is it worth going through all those no's? Yeah, <laughs> he, he feels it is. Okay, plus we got some people that he's going to refer over to. All right, but he's getting 10 to 15 names in there because he has to. All right, we need to make it to where we have to do it, that we force ourselves to do it. It's not going to fall in our lap, no matter how gorgeous this office is, no matter how good your item in your office yet, but no matter how good our offices are, no matter how good we think we are, we need to go out there and go talk to people. Okay. We need to be following up with people that we talked to before. We need to be getting more names and numbers. It's a lot easier to get work and raise the dead, but we gotta be talking to people. We gotta be talking to more people who can afford what we have. Maybe some more professionals, okay? I mean, she's, I'd be, I'd be walking into some of these health insurance companies that, like, like Joni said, and this guy in Seattle said, just has been decimated by Obamacare. They're looking for different ways to accentuate their income. P and C agents, same thing. Okay, the do it. I mean, we're all old enough to remember when we had to walk into a P and C agency and get car insurance. Now we get literally ten minutes online. You think that's really hurt a lot of different P and C agents? You bet it's hurt a lot of P and C agents. You know what hasn't been hurt with that online stuff yet? Life insurance. Life insurance, annuities, investments has not been hurt by the internet. And they say it doesn't because when it comes to big money like that, people want personal advice. They want personal touch, okay? Car insurance, no big deal. Car insurance, car insurance. There's a gajillion commercials as we speak playing right now on every television across the nation for car insurance. So we don't need P and C agents for car insurance. You just go online and do it or over the phone, okay? So P and C agents, health insurance agents, CPAs, tax preparers, enrolled agents, okay, business owners, doctors, lawyers, dentists. Raise your hand if you have a dentist. Do you have a dentist? I hope so. Okay, this is Oregon, I know. Okay. Hey, doctor, dentist. How would you like to be able to actually save a lot of money in taxes? I can't guarantee you, but I have my guy Josh give you a call and tell you all about it. Josh is a small business owner, just like you, and he is saving a lot in taxes. Third party, if you don't feel comfortable talking to him directly, third party, it. have Josh talk to him. I'm pretty sure you're pretty comfortable talking to him like that, right? Third party, it. go to your dentist, set up an appointment. You probably need to go see him anyway, see him or her anyway, right? Set an appointment, say, hey, you know what? I know a guy who helps small business owners 
save a lot on taxes. I can't guarantee it. Transamerica Financial Advisors. I can't guarantee you anything, but you know what? I'm gonna have Josh, my guy Josh give you a call. You can show you how to, how to have a tax, a hundred percent tax-free retirement. Oh, wait, those are those are magic words. Right. Hundred percent. Right. So write that down. Hundred percent tax-free retirement. Okay. I mean, how many people you know right now would love to have 100% tax free retirement? As long as we open our flipping mouths, excuse my language, right? But we're not opening, we're not talking to enough people. That's just the bottom line. Would you guys agree with that, yes or no? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all it is. And it's no more technical stuff. You guys already know, you guys have seen me do technical stuff already enough over the past, what, two years, three years? You guys have seen me do enough technical stuff to where you know how it works. You know that it works. You know how to do illustrations. You know how to dissect the illustration. You know how to show the cost and values ledger. You know how to do all that stuff. You don't need any more technical stuff. You need to be talking to more people. Put more people in the pipeline. That's all it is. I can't come in here to motivate you anymore. You can't go down to San Jose and get more motivation anymore. It's, by the way, motivate, I was telling Lynn a little bit earlier. I forget who says it, right? Motivation is like showering. You really don't need it, but you should have motiv you know, a shower every day. Same thing with motivation, right? Too often, though, we're way too smart for our own bridges. Oh, we don't need motivation. That's just motivational stuff. Okay? We are human beings. We need that emotional, uplifting type stuff. Okay? If you don't shower, you start to sleep. Yes. <laughs> okay? So that means going to every single meeting, every single big event, every single convention, being on every single conference call. Well, it gets to be overwhelming. Listen to it, especially listen to it. You never know what you're going to get. You never know you're going to get that spark. You never know what you're going to hear. Okay? I gave these guys stuff here today that can make you $60,000 in the next 30, 45 days. Okay? You never know what you're going to get. A lot of people, thought, a lot of people didn't come today because they thought I was going to talk about prospecting and recruiting again. A lot of people didn't come today because they thought I was going to talk about illustrations again. Okay. A lot of people didn't come today because they didn't have a guest. A lot of people didn't come today because they didn't wipe properly that morning. Well, whatever it is. <laughs> okay. Whatever it is. Okay. People give up. People, they, they don't need it. Right. Okay. Like Eric Olson said, Danny Duarte's not drinking his own Kool-Aid. He's having some, some success and he's still being extremely coachable. We all know people, some of us personally, that drink their own Kool-Aid, they don't need any more help. They don't need any more help, they don't need any more motivation, they don't need any more leadership. They got it down and they've earned zero for the past two years. They've recruited zero for the past two years. So we need it every day. Would you guys agree, yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Every day we need it. Every day we need to be coachable. We need to take ownership for our success, but still be coachable to, uh, to people trying to teach that been there, done that, all right? So coachability includes taking action at the speed of instruction, all right? So if I were you guys, anybody who wants to really have success, this next week I have a goal, Wayne. Hey, talk to at least four CPA firms, four, four tax firms. Joni, talk to at least five health insurance firms. Especially you come from the industry, hey, you know what, I know what you're going through, you can't bullshit me, I know what's happening, you need to talk. Let's talk. Let me show you what I'm doing. Right. That's a testimony. Simple. Okay? You know, especially doing health insurance and PNC since what, 86 you said? 86, 87? 86. Okay? So you can say, hey, you know what, Sparky, I know that you think you got it down, I know you think you don't need any help. I know what industry you're in. I came from for, since 1986. I know what you're going through. I know Obamacare has killed your commissions. We need to talk. Okay? That's kind of what you need to have. Versus, please, can you come in? We're doing a nice meeting. We have some food. We have bagels. Now, they need to come see what's going on. Okay, change that mindset to where they need to listen to you in a respectful way. You need to let them know that they need to listen to you. You don't. Oh, you suck, you got a shitty job, you know, stuff like that. You don't say that. <laughs> you listen to know, hey, you need, you need to listen. You need to see what's going on. I'm fired up. I know what you're going through. Let's talk. 
I mean, how simple is that? So it's making a choice and making it happen. That's all it is. I can, I can talk about objections. You guys already know about objections. I can talk about illustrations. I, you guys already seen me do illustration class. Every single one of you, at least five times, I know. Okay. <coughs> I can talk about prospecting. You get, I just told you where you need to prospect. Get your names and numbers. Get really good with objections. Josh said, I saw the flashcards up front, and I know you guys are really good with that. You, at least you should be by now, at least. We, so Josh, if I ask you, you know, talk with more people, right? More, <laughs> more people, more objections, and we get better at it. Right, right. <laughs> right. But if I were to ask you, uh, I don't have enough time. What do you say? Right. You better know what to say. If somebody said, I don't have enough time. If somebody says, I don't want to go go uh, as too far to uh, to uh, to the meeting. Right. What do you say to that? Okay, you don't get that one. Here. Uh, well, if they're from Madras, you get people yeah. complaining about coming down from Madras oh, yeah. or whatever it is, right? Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Matter of fact, I have a referral for you that uh, is out in La Grande, by the way. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's over there. Yes, but they're lawyers and they want to sit down. Okay. Okay. So, you know, you get good enough to where you can actually sell them on why they need to come from La Grande over here to visit Josh. Or you get enough to where you're trying not to look around, you're guaranteed to get a, a, a piece of business because you're spending time going out there. Getting commitments, putting value in your time. If you don't get commitments, put value in your time, and nobody else will. So when you buy somebody, you gotta put commitments. You gotta, you gotta get the commitment for them being here. Who invited people that didn't show up here today? Raise your hand. <laughs> I hope everybody. So are you getting those commitments though? Hey, you know what, Mike? It's by invitation only. We're going to save you a seat. I'm going to tell my executive marketing director, Eric, all about you. I'm going to tell you my senior marketing director, Josh, all about you. Saving you a seat. We have some bagels with your name on it, by the way. Okay? <laughs> i got to get a dedication. You're going to be here. Because I, I, if you don't, we're going to give you a seat away. I just got to get a dedication. Can I get a dedication when you're going to be here Saturday morning? Yes? Okay, great. I'll see you Saturday morning, 10 o'clock. Dress as business casual. You want to bring no pen and pen. But set the standard business casual. That way they don't show up in sweats and, and flip-flops, okay? Up in Seattle, you know, still trying to teach some new people to make sure that, that is, there's, there's a little bit of dress code because when they show up in flip-flops and sweats, they, they have to sit over in a corner. I don't let them in the mozo. Okay, now, I, I'm not in a three-piece suit either, but I, I'm not flip-flops and shorts, okay? So uh, that's just a certain amount of respect for them coming in. If they're, if they're, coming, they're, they're going to get a $500,000 a year job guarantee, you think they'll show up in flip-flops and shorts? No. They are guaranteed never get a job for $500,000, but here they have a chance to get $500,000 so that they need to show the respect. All right? So, yeah, getting dedications to sitting down, the, getting dedications to hold the appointment, right? So, Wayne, I'm going to see you tomorrow, Monday morning at 10 a.m., my schedule is busy, I know yours as well, so if my schedule changes, you'll be the first to know. Can I get the same respect back from you? Is that fair to ask? Sure. Okay, great. All right. By the way, Wayne, I know you're fired about this uh, executive bonus plan. I know you're fired about having 100% tax for retirement. I know you might talk to some other people about it. The only favor I ask, if somebody tells you differently what I'm telling you here tonight, before you take their advice, have you sit down with them as well, show them the numbers, and they'll probably become my client too. Is that fair to ask? Okay. That does not eliminate them from not showing to PPM, does not eliminate Wayne from not showing up to his appointment, does not eliminate Wayne from listening to his know-it-all uncle tell him why he should uh, put it in the bank instead, but reduces the chance of all those things happening. Are you respecting your time enough to, to, to set those standards? The answer is no, it's not, not their fault of not showing up, it's your fault of not showing up. Okay? That's all it is. That's all it is. All right, any questions on this? Good stuff. <clears throat> so if I were you, I would definitely get good at explaining the executive bonus plan the way, I, the way I explained it there. Okay? You know, pass through corporation. Yeah, you go to St. Charles, and I guarantee you a lot of those doctors have some sort of thing set up to where they can avoid unnecessary taxation. Okay? I get in, in any one of these small little doctors throughout town, I bet you they have something. Dentists, lawyers. You name it, okay? Small business owners, you name it, okay? Just matter of opening your mouth, making it happen, making a choice. I was telling Lynn this morning, making a choice every morning to either do it or don't. Whether you do it or don't, it's your choice. It's nobody else's. 
And life's going to happen no matter what. No matter what life's going to happen. All right? All right. So we had Summer Sizzler a couple weeks ago. Two weeks of freeze. September's gone, yeah, you guys. Yeah. September's gone. It's going up October really fast. Halloween, I mean, I got this morning in Seattle, and I heard on the radio, actually the, the pilot said it was just about freezing down here this morning, right? Is that, mm -hmm. is that correct? Right. Yeah, it was cold okay. this morning. You start to smell the, the wood burning fireplaces, you know, it's getting to, getting to where you get, you, you smell fall coming on, okay? 